Hello friends and welcome to another video of Travel Tech. Now in this video I am going to be talking about tires. The subject which all of you have been discussing in the various Facebook groups and the various WhatsApp groups and most of you question about how to upsize the tire, what is the actual size to be upsized, what are the details, what are the criteria which is important in order to know how you can upsize the tire size of your car. Well I am going to cover that topic in this video as well. So before I jump into that topic, let's just cover a bit of the basics of tires. What exactly are tires, how you can classify them, what are the different parts of a tire, how you can read the tire readings and how you can actually upsize the tire size of your car. So let's just jump into the video directly. So before I begin the video, make sure you have liked this video and also subscribe to my channel because I am going to be bringing out many more interesting videos similar to this. So let's just move on with the video. So what are tires? Tires are basically the intermediary between you and the road. Yes, those are the parts which come between the car and the road and that is where exactly all the action happens. So tire is you can say one of the or is the most important part of a car because if there is no tire, there is no car. So what is a tire? Tire is a flexible toroidal compressed gas container mechanically attached to the outer circumference of a rim of a vehicle wheel. The name is derived from a tire that is a protective wearing or the protective covering or a coat. So basically the rubber exterior of a tire is merely a flesh or a skeleton for a fabric. This skeleton and the manner which it is constructed are of fundamental importance in establishing the tire's characteristics. The tire is an integral component of a vehicle as I said earlier and is the intermediary between the vehicle and the road. So this is the definition of a tire guys. So let's just go ahead and jump into what are the different ways the tires are classified? Well, they are broadly classified into four types. So I'll just go ahead and put up a table on the screen which you can see and get a certain idea regarding how the tires are classified actually and you can get a detailed idea regarding it. So watch that right now. So as you are seeing on the screen right now, the tires are classified into broadly four types that is based on the carcass material, based on the construction, based on application and based on pattern design. So based on the carcass material, they are further classified into about six types that is the nylon, steel belted, all steel, polyester belted, rayons and others and based on the construction, they are classified into radial and bias tires. So these radial tires are the one which we use in our cars most commonly and these radial tires are further classified into two types that is the tubeless and the tube tire. The bias tires also are classified into two types that is the tubeless and the tube tires. So the third broad classification is depending on the application that is the vehicle or the type of vehicle which the tire is used at and that includes the light truck, the truck bus, passenger cars, two to three wheelers, agricultural off the road, aero, speciality and bicycle tires. So these are classified based on the application and the final classification is based on the pattern design that is the lug, rib and similar tires. So these are the four types, four broad types along with the semi types and shows exactly how the tires are classified. So by now I think you have gained a certain idea, a basic idea of what tires are and how exactly they are classified. So let's just jump into the radial tire directly and show you exactly what are the parts of a tire and what are the different types of the parts of those tires. So let's just jump into that. So guys, if you are seeing on the screen right now, this is the cross section of a radial tire. So these are some of the tire uh, parts, important tire parts that is a tread, pad gauge, ply turn, inner liner, side wall, etc. So what are these uh, different parts of a tire? Well, the tread is the most important portion of a tire. It is the part which comes in contact with the road and is called as the tread. It is designed to provide the necessary traction, wear resistance and allow for low heat buildup and the low noise. The side walls are the layers of appropriate thickness of rubber compound applied on both sides of the tire carcass between the beads and the tread. The plies are the reinforcing members of the tire which are made from rubber coated fabric that is it may be rayon, nylon, steel, polyester etc. For bias tires nylon is the most commonly used fabric whereas polyester is used for passenger radial and steel for truck radials. Well, the bead is the layer of rubber coated high tensile steel wires formed into inextensible loops. So these are the different tire parts and I am just showing you a type of a radial tire. There are several other tire types as well that is the truck radial and the truck bias tires. I am not going to get into the detail of those because we don't need that. So let's just have the information regarding the basic radial tires which we use in our car also which I have just shown you right now. So let's just jump into how you can actually read a tire. What are the important points which you need to know in order to read a tire properly and its classifications. So I think you are watching the screen right now and you are getting the diagram. There is some numbers written on the tire that is the 195 bar 55 R 
1687B. Now these each number indicates one of the aspects of the tire. So the first aspect is the 195 number. The 195 indicates the section width in millimeters. That is the width of the tire. 195 means that is about 19.5 centimeters. So it varies according to tires and varies according to the manufacturer. So generally when we try to upsize the tire or upscale the tire, we generally tend to increase the width of the tire. And the reason for that is because in case we get a tire of a longer width, it tends to give us more grip on the road, it gives more traction on the road and of course also gives a very broad look and a very macho look for the tire. And the downside of getting a broader weight tire is that it increases the weight of the tire and that also causes the decrease in the mileage of the vehicle because an increased weight will consume more fuel in order to move ahead. So it decreases the mileage and of course it also to in some aspect increases or decreases the odometer reading it alters the odometer reading basically so these are some of the downsides of upsizing well let's just go to upsizing a bit later so let's right now focus on the different aspect ratios or different readings of the tire so that is the 195 number it indicates the section width of the tire the second number is the 55 the 55 actually represents the percentage of the tire width so the entire tire width area if you consider that as a hundred percent 55 is the number in this example it shows that it covers the 55 percent of the entire tire width of the car tire so it is the tire height which is represented as a percentage that is a 55 so broader tires which look broader from the side have a higher number and the thinner tires which look from a thin from a distance i can see you can imagine that they have a very smaller percentage or the number is less than 50 so that is the aspect ratio of the tire height as a percentage of the width now the number r represents that it's a radial construction so that it is a radial tire so the next number that is the number 16 so the number 16 indicates the car tire width that is indicated in units of the in inches so r16 means it is a 16 inch radial tire so 17 18 as the tire rim size increases so does the number so the next number on this example is the 87 the 87 represents the load rating of the tire or the load capacity of the tire how much load can the tire take so it has, there is a table there is a detailed table regarding what are the load index of the tire well i'm not going to jump into the detail of the load index because it is not required in this video it is just enough if you know that the number after the uh, tire width indicates the load index of the tire and generally the higher the number it is a higher the load index so the last uh, digit or the last alphabet written in this example is the number V. So number V in this example represents the speed rating. So there is an alphabet indicated to each of the car tire speed rating and as I said it is similar to a load index there is a chart wherein it indicates each alphabet to a speed rating of the tire. So higher the alphabet or the bigger the alphabet the higher the speed rating of the car tire. Generally we need not worry about the radial tires because the speed rating is much higher than the car can actually achieve. So in that sense there is not much to look about. There is also a chart regarding the speed index of the tire and, uh, and as I said earlier it's not required to get into the detail of that. It is just enough if you know that the last two parts of this uh, numerology of the numbers on the tire represent the load index and the speed index of the tire. So this is the how guys you need to learn to read the tire ratings and what is written on the tire and of course the manufacturer company name will also be written along with these ratings so you can also read that. So now once you have watched this video, once you have gained this uh, information, I think you guys should go ahead and watch your tire and look at your tire. What exactly is the readings of your tire on your car? Uh, what is the section width, what is the aspect ratio, radial construction and the uh, inches or that is the rim diameter of your car and the load rating and the speed index of your car tire. So you can get inform important information regarding your car tire and when the next time when you are shopping for a car tire you can look into these aspects. So guys now that you have uh, understood what are the different types of uh, tire aspect ratios or the tire information that is written on top of the tire. Let's just now jump into the most important part of the video that is regarding the tire upsizing or tire upscaling of your car. Now some of you or most of you may not have been satisfied with the tire width or the tire size which has been given by the manufacturer for your car and you may like to or you may prefer to increase the tire size. Well tire upsizing is both good and bad in certain ways. It is good in a way that first of all it improves the aesthetics of your car. Once the tire becomes bigger or broader it gives a more broader look, it gives a more uh, 
dominant look or to your car of course and of course functionally also it improves the road grip it improves the traction and it improves the way your car handles during uh, driving when you're driving at a very high speed so there are many good aspects of tire upsizing also so the downsides of tire upsizing is that as i said earlier it increases the weight of the car drag of the car and it decreases the mileage of the car in the long run and the one of the most important aspects is that it changes or alters the odometer reading so the actual odometer reading is depending on the manufacturer car tire size so the car tire size which the manufacturer has provided has been loaded onto the cpu or to the artificial intelligence unit in your car and once you upsize your tire size uh, the computer does not detect the upsizing and it calculates the odometer based on the previous car tire size uh, so if you can observe the fact that if there is a difference in the width of the tire or the aspect ratio or the rim diameter the computer in the car does not take into account that and it takes into account the previous uh, readings which has been fed into it so in the long run as you go ahead and keep driving there is a vast amount of difference in the odometer reading of the actual odometer reading and the outcome the example of the odometer reading which is being shown on the dashboard and it causes some discrepancies during services and everything so this is what happens when the odometer reading changes so what is recommended is that you need to upsize in a way that it is less than 2% of the previous uh, car tire size so what is this 2% so how you can calculate uh, the tire upsizing so that it remains safe below the 2% margin of error so how you can exactly do that well i have provided a link in the description of this video there is something called as a tire upsize calculator and so once you click on that link you can go ahead and open up a web page wherein you have to input your previous car tire size and the car tire which you are preferring to buy or which you are planning to buy and the size of that so once you input those particular numbers and you click on the calculate button of that particular web page so it shows the current circumference of the tire size which you have in, which you are having currently and the one you are planning to get the circumference of that and it is going to calculate the difference and if it is less than 2% you can go ahead and change the car tire size so i hope you guys understood in detail regarding how car tire upsizing is done what are the aspects you need to consider in order to upsize your tires so this is the information guys which i needed to share you and i hope you have understood all the details all the advantages and all the disadvantages of doing it and in case you are doing and in case if you are planning on upsizing make sure you understand both the advantages and disadvantages and as i said previously the advantages are a lot and that actually includes giving a very uh, proper look a very aesthetic look to the car and a very dominant look because of the broader tires and of course it increases the road grip it increases the traction of the car and it gives you a more proper grip of the road the downside is that it increases the weight of the car it increases the drag and it also decreases the mileage so if you are someone who is very concerned about the mileage and as i have seen in the various discussions of the group most of the people are very much concerned about the mileage of their cars so in case you are somebody who belongs to that group i don't think tire upsizing is a good thing for you because it is going to decrease the mileage in the long run and it is going to put a pressure on the mileage aspect of your car but if you are not bothered about the mileage and you just want to have some fun tire upsizing is a good idea and just as i said earlier make sure you do it after understanding both the pros and cons of tire upsizing and don't do it just because everyone else is doing it and it is fashionable to do so just don't do it because of those reasons in case you're doing it do it properly and do it in a very professional manner so this is the detail regarding tire upsizing and i hope you guys have understood every aspect of it and in case you still haven't understood a part of it or most part of it you can write down in the comments below and i'm going to reply back to you as soon as possible and i hope i can clarify any of the doubts which you have so this is the video which i wanted to bring in front of you regarding what is a tire what are the different ways the tires are classified what are the different parts of a tire and how you can read the tire ratings and the tire numbers which are printed on top of the tire so i hope you have gained some important knowledge some important information from this video and the most important part about the tire upsizing which is almost discussed in every whatsapp groups in every facebook groups as much as i have seen regarding tire upsizing i hope this video clarifies your doubt and if you have any doubt you can like that doubt so i hope you like this video and if you did like the effort behind making this video make sure you like this video and don't go away without subscribing to my channel thank you very much for watching this video and i'm going to be bringing out many more interesting videos following to this 
So make sure you keep watching my channel. Thank you very much and have a really nice day.